Hey everyone, welcome to another book review. Today we are going to check out the companion art book for the Japanese animated film Your Name, which is directed by Makoto Shinkai. Makoto Shinkai, if you do not know, is a Japanese director who has directed several Japanese animated films. His movies are very well known for the really gorgeous background art. If you haven't watched any of his films yet, I highly recommend you go check them out because in those movies, every frame is a piece of art. And I am not kidding you. All right, so for this particular book, this is the companion book for his latest film, Your Name. I have watched this film three times. The story is fantastic. The art, as you are about to see, is absolutely stunning. This is a Japanese art book. I'm not sure if you can get it outside of Japan, but you can probably order it from Amazon Japan. So this is a paperback cover. The size is about A5, maybe slightly larger. And the print quality, the paper quality of Japanese art books, it's always fantastic. There are 208 pages in this book. And this book focuses only on the background art. And because this book is in Japanese, all the texts are in Japanese, but you don't really need to know Japanese in order to enjoy the art. I mean, seriously, these paintings, they are just so beautiful. This is, um, I think his second art book. His first art book is called Sky Longing for Memories, the art of Makoto Shinkai. And that book was translated into English, so you may want to check that out as well. His earlier book focuses on background art as well, but for his earlier film, so this book is dedicated to just your name. So these are the scenes from the movie. This is the town. I cannot remember the name of the town, but it's a very typical Japanese town. And the lighting, the weather, the mood, the atmosphere, it's so gorgeous. I mean, this is the sort of place you want to visit after looking at the film. In fact, in one of the um, locations that is featured in the movie, it has sort of become very touristy because um, it was featured in the film. And it's actually a very mundane um, uh, scene, like it's just a flight of staircase, but because the director, Makoto Shinkai, painted it Actually, it's his team who painted it and reinterpret the scene until it's so beautiful that uh, people were so captivated by that image that they actually went down to visit the actual place. The place that inspired some of the background art in this book. So these are actually the actual background art that is used in the movie. These are not concept art, they are the actual art that is used in the movie. So the characters, the animation will be drawn, I think, on a separate layer on top of the background art. The lighting, I mean, even the night sky, it's so beautifully captured. And usually when you look at paintings, watercolor, gouache, whatever medium there is, you don't usually see a lot of night scenes. That's just a little uh, interesting bit of information for you. So there are a lot of landscapes. Take a look at this. There's even the rainbow here. Beautiful shadows, the greenery the rocks, the mountains, the grass. I wonder how long it took the art department to paint all of this. If I am not wrong, these are probably digital painting. I think there are some spoilers here. So this is a very typical um, Japanese an info card that you get when you buy Japanese art books. I shall not talk about the story because um, 
you really have to watch the film to really enjoy the story. I'm not going to spoil it for you, except to say that it has a mix of time travel, mystery, So this is Tokyo. So the characters would move from Tokyo to the town and back to Tokyo and to the town. This is the Tokyo train station if I am not wrong. Just look at the details in this and here as well. I think this is the type of art that really inspires people to take up art. At least for me, when I look at this type of paintings, I really, it makes me fall in love with art, not just with Japanese animation, but really um, fall in love with art. Because with art, you can create scenes like this. And even if you have a photo, uh, sorry, even if you have a camera, you won't be able to uh, recapture scenes like this. Because with cameras, you have to rely on the situation, the circumstances. You have to rely on the lighting of the day, the weather. But with paintings like this, you can take a reference photo and work from the reference photo and adjust the lighting. You can make your own interpretation. I just love the landscapes. You know, while I'm flipping through this book, I just feel the urge to go and watch this film for the fourth time. It is a really wonderful story. And if I remember it correctly, this is the highest grossing Japanese animated movie of all time. Even surpassing Hayao, Hayao Miyazaki's uh, movies. So Japanese animation is very popular in Japan and worldwide is not going away anytime soon. Even with the even with the popularity of 3D animation, I think Japanese animation, 2D animation is here to stay. Absolutely gorgeous. Check out the night scene. That is Tokyo Tower there. Look at the details in this, in this painting. Train stations. Train stations are usually pretty mundane. Uh, they can look rather sterile, but well, I mean, this looks really good. This looks like a place you want to visit every day. This is so beautiful. The lighting is gorgeous. So this is the flight of staircase that I talked about. So in the last scene, the characters were standing on the staircase looking down at this town. So this has become a popular uh, touristy place for taking photos. And that's all for this book. This is a book I can recommend easily to fans of the film, people who love landscape art or people who just love art in general. This is a very beautiful book. The official retail price for this is about 3,000 Japanese yen on Amazon Japan. That price includes tax. If you are buying from Amazon Japan and shipping out of Japan, the tax will be deducted from that price. So it's going to be less than 3,000 Japanese yen, but that price doesn't include shipping. So you have to add that later on. But 
um, for the price, I think it's really worth it. I will put the link in the video description below so you can know where to find this book as well as a list of other books that I would recommend that are quite similar to this book. So that's all for today's book review. If you want to check out other book reviews, you can visit my website parkerblocks.com. There are over a thousand book reviews over there. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.